Okay. So this is what I put in my in my um, glove box of my car when I um, go out plein air painting. And um, I tried to use other things, and I always seem to come back to this. And my friend Mandy um, Houston, she told me about these, and it's just like, okay, that's awesome. And um, hers is blue. I didn't want to, like, totally copy her, so I got a green one. Thank you, Mandy, for letting me know about these. These are wonderful. And this is what's in here for when I go watercolor painting. So... I start out with, I have a fountain pen, uh, Sketch Ink by Latte. Well, Latte is the, um, is the name of the, of the, of the Sketch Ink. It's actually this. So, we have that. And then I have a, a paintbrush in case, or a watercolor, a water brush in case I don't have, um, I can't use water. And then I also have... A pencil, which I hardly ever use anymore because I mostly just use the fountain pen. And I also use the liners, the pigment liners. And these are both pigment liners. So that's, um, I don't particularly care for using pencil anymore. I should, but um, it's okay and I don't have to. So, <laughs> all right. And then I know this looks just amazingly uh, dirty, but it's actually very clean. It's been washed and fold it up and put back in here. So after a while, it just looks like this because it's stained with watercolor. And then don't forget the water cup. And it's a drinking cup. They come with this one come with a cover, which I don't use. The neat thing about it is you don't, um, you could get one of those dog watering dishes that have a little hook on it that you can take with you. But that works really nice for my watercolor when I pour water. When I'm out, um, out and about, I usually have a oh, drinking water with me, and I just pour some of my drinking water in there, which I don't have the drinking water here. It's just something that I carry with. And um, there is two openings to this. So I'll we'll start with my paints. These are Winsor Newton Cotman colors. Now, I've had this for the last two years, and as you see, they're... The paints are mostly in there. I've switched out a couple of colors. And I've um, gotten rid of the white because I've never seen, never seemed to use the Chinese white. So I put in there, um, I think it's Payne's Gray. I'm not sure. But when I'm out and about watercoloring, um, I use this quite a bit. But there's also something else that I really, really like. And that's um, the M. Gray watercolors. And obviously, my collection is here. Oops, I bumped it. Um, this is for my desk. I use these, and these are full, but they're they're honey in them, which also means in a hot, humid day, they would get wet, moisten up. So I uh, I opted for this and what I did is you see I just I just put a squeeze in them just a little squeeze because on, and then I kept it open for a few days to hopefully dry out. I stick my finger in there I'm sure my finger is going to come out goopy <laughs> which is fine but um what's going to happen is um in my car when I put this in my glove box I lay it a certain way I always always lay it in my glove box this up so I'm going to put these paints in here with the cover on going up. So then I don't have to worry about them ever spilling, even in the heat of the summer, they're still gonna be sitting up like this. And this is just a, a peppermint container, or, or you know, a mint container. The neat part about it, it holds seven, which which is nice. And I got my, um, the colors that I think that I wanna carry along with me. And I haven't used this yet. We're going to use this today. And then um, my uh, Moleskin um, watercolor book. I just really, really, really like the Moleskin watercolor. And um, I have done a few things, a few things in this book. Uh, some of these things I have done on. Uh, uh, 
YouTube channel, but um, a lot of the times I just do them because I'm out and about, and um, it's just fun here, um, different different places, three different places there, and here also I uh, was in three different places, and then um, just going going places and seeing things and just jotting them down, and yes, I use both sides of my page, and because I have no intention whatsoever on pulling them out of the book. So, and that's some more. Um, that's a funny story. I went up to uh, Minnesota to get an oil change, and my friends were saying, like, um, from Virginia, where I live, you drive a long way to get an oil change. It's like, yeah, so I did. I did that. So, and then um, my getting prepared for my son to get married, and which is really nice. I kept that as a, as a reminder. And my daughter's uh, house window, she has these orchids that she's had for years and years and years, and they thrive with her. So that's totally awesome. Places that I went. Last time I went out with my friend, Kaola. So we're gonna leave that sit there. And then I have these um, watercolor brushes. So I have uh, Escoda. Reserva, a size two. We'll move this, move this out of the way. And I have a Escoda Reserva, a size six. And I, I also kind of have a cold, so I saw it kind of stuffed up. So I apologize for that. And these are um. They're actually very generic type um, travel brushes, uh, four and an eight, and, but they're really nice. So, and I, when I got those, I decided the reserve was so much nicer, but that's, that's another story. I um, decided to just go ahead and, so what we're going to do today is I have water. So I'm just going to use the water that I have here. I am so sorry. What happens when you have a cold okay well we're going to um, take this stuff and and um, try out a picture now there was a picture that I had in mind and um, when I when I had my house in Minnesota for like 30 years there's an upstairs and then there's a window upstairs and when you look out this window you look down, and I've been thinking about this for um, some time, actually. So, what we're going to do is, I want to actually draw the view from my old house. And, um, that's, that's what I want to draw. That view is just something, I mean... It was actually very nice to um, look out that window and see and and just imagine, you know, what would it be like here later in life? Well, now it's later, so we'll find out. I have no idea. So when you stand at this window, you're actually looking down. And um and when you look when you look down, onto the yard, there's a sidewalk that leads out. And then there's the, uh, the mailbox. We'll do the mailbox right there. And then there's a road. And somewhere, I'm not sure if I remember. Oh, over here, there's a pole. And that pole does not is not in the house, so that was a bad mistake. We'll just do like that. There's a pole outside over there, which is funny. There's a there was a building across the street too. And um, this was a light pole that was over across the street, and and down this or down across the yard there was a. A sidewalk there and there were steps going down to the gravel road and this was a this was a gravel road and this is a gravel road here 
And then um, I'm just going to write on here. Looking out from upstairs window. Window. And then I'm just going to write M Minnesota. And this would be the the front yard is here. And I'm, I'm going to stop there. Otherwise, it's just going to get too crazy now. Um, I could have used my, um, my latte, my sketch ink. But when you use that now, it is waterproof. I apologize. Um, the only thing is, is you have to give it time to dry. Or you will end up with... Um, You need to give it some time to dry. Otherwise it will run, but it's not, it's not um, critical. It's just, it depends on what you want. Now we're just gonna use this M gram. So we'll just leave this set here. And there's a Payne's gray, apparently right here. And because it's M gram, it's going to, um, we're gonna use this. Or, or we could actually use the back of this, but we're just going to use this. And I want it to be thinned out because the room is not gray, but I don't want the walls of the room to be the highlight of this, of what's going on here. When actually... I know for a fact, because I mean, I lived in the house for 30 years, there were some pink flowers on the walls. So we can just add a little of that there. So that's that. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna have to do um, some buff titanium, which is not in any of these palettes, but being as how I'm sitting in my studio, I have access to it. So we'll just throw it in there and um, put some buff titanium because the window is that is that color. And yes, it was a big pane of glass and another big pane of glass. It's an old, it's an older house. I'm gonna put a little bit of color on that window. It was definitely an older house. And I don't necessarily miss the house. There are a few things of the house that I do miss, but that's not for the camera. It's just for my personal memory bank is what it is. All right, now we have this green yard. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this um, size two a scooter reserve and put some water on my paper, and um, I mean it's a it's not a really great moleskin is not really great for doing this, but it's really nice for for what I'm doing with it. Now this green is not something that I would want, but if I was out and about with my with my set. I would be have access to this other set. So, so with that in mind, I can use these other colors. I'm not just stuck with those colors. So we're gonna put a little green in there. And it doesn't have to be, um, it's just, just the illusion of this is grass. And there's grass over there, and sometimes they didn't mow so much. And then we're going to use this quinacodrone rust. And this is that. This is the building. Like that. Look at that building there. And then also uh, the top of that building. That was. Um, the roof. We need some more of this green. And and this is kind of like a 
a, a yard and then there were some trees over on the end but we're still in the um okay so we need to make this gravel road look like gravel so we're going to use um yellow ochre straight up straight up out of the pan yellow ochre that's very nice okay we're gonna mix it with our gray so we have a, a sidewalk here this is our sidewalk and then um my mailbox was actually black but this is fun so i want with blue I'm going to put some blue in there. We're outside the window. Okay. All right. Now, um, I know it doesn't look like a big deal, but for me, I remember that scene so very well. And um, there were trees, I know, in there. So we're going to get this rust because, um, I mean, if you get a chance to even have like four or five um, M grams, go ahead and get them because they are so nice. So very nice. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> okay, let's put some of this in there. I know there was a I know there was a tree here. I know there was a tree here too. A little bit of paint's gray. and then a little green for the tops and then I think we better call it a day because that's the thing is when you get too um, overzealous with your painting you end up getting too much and that's the view from my window of the house that I lived in for 30 years. I want to thank you for watching and knowing that when I go out when I go out watercoling I'll, I'll plan air painting. <laughs> I have everything that I need right here. So you have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye.